name is Martijn van Groningen. Uh, I work for Search Workings. Uh, I am a uh, uh, Lucene committer and PMC member of the Lucene project. And today I'll, my talk will be about uh, grouping and joining. So let's start. Um, uh, first, we'll uh, go into a bit of the background of uh, why do we want to use uh, uh, joining and grouping with relational data. And then we'll go into the joining and uh, result grouping features, uh, how they work and how they can be used. In the end, a small conclusion. Uh, let's start, okay. Uh, Lucene's model is, as everyone knows, is document-based. Just uh, document and fields, basically. And uh, there's, uh, Lucene doesn't store information about the relation between documents. Um, however, data all, uh, often holds uh, relations, and users want uh, good free text search over this relational like data. Um, so let's go into an, an example. I think this is a classic e commerce example with product and a product item. Product has general descriptions over a product, and there's a product item describing the uh, possible variants, including price. Um, product item is also often known as a stock keeping unit, unit or uh, a, a product variant. Um, usually the, uh, the goal is uh, that we want to uh, show the user the, the most relevant product based on specific filters on the product item level. Um, the question is, how do we model this? Uh, what is the document granularity uh, for this, and so on? Um, so there are a, 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 there are a number of uh, solutions you can go. Um, most common uh, solution, of course, uh, with Lucene is just create uh, uh, compound documents. So basically, putting all the product items in a, a product uh, with the product in one document, or store them separately, but then do subsequent searches. Um, both have uh, some uh, uh, some good uh, some uh, pros and cons. Um, uh, for example, uh, subsequent searches you can end up uh, with doing many subqueries and having a lot of overhead uh, by doing these queries. For example, network overhead. Um, however, however, there's also different solutions. Like you can put the data alongside in a database and do a relational search over there. Uh, in the case that free text search isn't that important for you, may, most likely that is the, the, the best option. Uh, and of course, databases are always better in uh, searching over relational data. Uh, but that's not why we're here. We are here for uh, grouping and joining, of course, um, and uh, Lucene. Um, so if we take a look at our uh, example domain, um, one document, the product and product items are in the same document. Um, the product item uh, fields, uh, fields are uh, most likely prefixed with the ID of a product item. Um, and uh, in most situations, it will work. We have, uh, uh, you can fast it, you can search on all, on all the properties, and uh, well, it will work out. Uh, but your, uh, um, the limitation is, for example, uh, if one product item changes, you have to update the whole product, or the whole document. Um, and also, the document granularity is uh, basically uh, uh, set in stone. <laughs> um, Meaning, if you just want to search on, product, on the product item level, you basically always get back products, and also then the, the, uh, the headcount is represented by products. Um, so, Lucino offers different solutions to have a relational like search. Um, basically, it's, it's a parent child, parent child like search, um, and, but you can do with grouping and joining. Um, but something to remember is that grouping and joining are not naturally supported, so there's always a cost in uh, search time. And uh, in some scenarios, it, it, that might, might not, uh, that might be a problem, so grouping and joining isn't always the right solution. Um, so that's why uh, uh, you have to keep it in mind, so. Um, let's go into uh, joining. So Lucene uh, offers uh, joining support. Um, However, it's uh, uh, when, uh, when people think about joining, they think about relational databases, they think about uh, SQL. Um, that is something that Lucene doesn't do for you. It doesn't implement that. 
it's more, uh, as I said, uh, it's a parent-child like search that can be, uh, that Lucene can do for you. Um, and it's a basically available since Lucene 3.4. Um, and there are two types of, uh, of joins, basically. There is a uh, index time join where uh, the relation between parent and child are uh, determined at index time, and there is a, a query time join where the relation between parent and child are uh, determined at query time. Um, so index time joining, um, let's go more into that, uh, into this. Um, there are, uh, basically it's implemented in, with queries and uh, in a collector. There are two queries. The first query, the two parent block join query, um, it uh, basically allows you to search for, uh, for the parents with the matches on the children. So uh, search on specific product uh, item details and then get back the parent product. And you can do it other, they can do the other way around with a two child block join query. I have to say that uh, it's a quite a long name, but at least it is descriptive. Um, there is also a, a Lucene collector. Uh, when you're using these queries, you either get back the parents or, or the children as a result, but the, the two parent block join collector, it, will allow, it allows you to um, basically get the parent-child relation as a hit. Uh, so getting, for example, the product with the most relevant product item as a result. Um, well, what is re really important uh, with index time joining is that it relies on block, uh, block indexing. And that's why the uh, queries and collector have block in their name. So what is block indexing? Block indexing is, uh, well, normally when you put uh, at uh, documents to the index with the index writer in Lucene and also Solar uses Lucene though, in that way. Um, the, the internal Lucene document ID is assigned in a, uh, in, well, not a random order, but it's, you have no control in, in what ID it will get. By using block indexing, you uh, uh, can have an influence on this. You basically add a list of documents to the index and um, all the documents will get subsequently assigned uh, Lucene document IDs. So you know that those documents are in a specific order. And this feature that the index writer offers, it, uh, the block joining, it relies on this. Um, so that is what block indexing does. Um, but these blocks are not, these blocks are not stored in, in the index, it just, it happens to be that those IDs are sequentially assigned, and that's it. Um, um, so it, there's no information uh, uh, stored about this in the index, and the application using the index writer uh, is responsible for uh, identifying the blocks in the index by marking a specific document inside there. Um, and because Lucene doesn't know about it, it can happen that uh, because of merging, segment merging, that the order of the document IDs are reordered, and so your index block is broken. Um, it doesn't always happen. It usually it ha it happens when you, for example, have a delete in a segment. It, a segment. So that's when the Lucene IDs can uh, can be reordered. Actually, um, so that's also th at the same time the big downside of of block uh, block indexing. But if you don't have the deletes in your segment, uh, merging uh, will keep the order of the Lucene IDs. Um, so if we take back, a, back go back to our example domain, uh, which I will be using throughout the, 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 my talk, uh, it basically looks like this. We add documents to the index and they are separate, but they are in this, in this block. Um, and the parent is always the last document in a block. That's very important. The block join uh, queries, they rely on this fact. Um, and any product item you can just put in, in, before, of that, in uh, before that. Some code. Okay, these are two factory methods. Uh, basically, they create Lucene documents. The reason why I'm showing this is that because uh, uh, we need to mark the parents. And we have a factory method for product and a factory method for product item. 
And you see that in the factory method uh, of, the, of the product, I mark my parent with a field and a specific field value. Um, the uh, block join query will later on will use this information to decide what is a parent and what is a child. Um, what I have to note, uh, this is uh, 4.0 actually trunk API. In, uh, uh, if you're using Solution 3.x, it uh, looks similar, but not the same. Uh, so block indexing, basically we create an index writer, we uh, have a list of documents, we add those uh, documents uh, um, to the index, and as the last document we add is the, the, uh, the product, we have a, and uh, documents are added in a specific order, or get, uh, as, oh, let's put it that way, the ID is assigned in a specific order as in the list. Um, we clear the list, we add some more uh, product items, and the last document we add is the product. We add it again, and so you have a kind of a, a, a order in the, in the index. Uh, so when you're done, you open a, uh, you, you open a new index uh, reader, uh, an index search, and you, uh, and you uh, can use the, the join, uh, block join queries. Um, so block join query, how can we use this? Basically, uh, you have to mark, mark the parents with a filter, so we create a query, wrap it in a filter. Uh, next thing we do is decide the child query, so in our case, uh, we're searching on product items. We want everything with size medium. Uh, and uh, then we create a, a score mode. Uh, the reason why we have a score mode is because uh, you score across more than one, usually a, a more than one child, more than one product item, but you only have one, you have, have one uh, parent, one product. So you need to decide how to map the score into this one parent. And there are specific strategies for this. For this. In this case, it's max. So the highest score is being basically mapped into the parent. But there are others. Uh, for example, uh, total, which is the sum of all the scores, or an average, which is the average of the score. Or if you don't care about scoring, you can use none. Uh, um, well, basically, uh, this information is used as input for the two-parent block join query. Uh, your query, you, will just, you can add it into your normal query, what the user has typed. And then basically, you get back, uh, you uh, invoke, search, get back top box, which are parents in this case. Um, the child query is basically executed in the uh, in, uh, uh, parent space of, of the document, so. And therefore, you get back, uh, the hits of the product items are then mapped to the parent, and you get back uh, uh, products. <coughs> okay, this is block join query. I will now go into uh, query time joining. Um, query time joining. Uh, basically, you, uh, you join based on, uh, on, on two options, a from and a to field, and the query is executed in two phases. Uh, it doesn't require block indexing, so you can just uh, Use the normal index writer add document method, and you can edit it in any particular segment of your index. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it doesn't matter where the documents are in the index. So how does it actually work, the query time join? It's executed in two phases. The first phase, basically, uh, in case, for example, in a in uh, product item uh, and product example, the, 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 it collects all the values from, for the from field, and uh, uh, then in a second query, this, this, uh, this term, uh, the, the terms that are collected in the first phase are used in the second phase to return uh, uh, products, in, a, in our case, to, to return the parent or, or the way around. Depends on how you use it. Um, it, is, uh, it has two different uh, uh, implementations. You have uh, the join util method in the Lucene contrib and uh, in the trunk. In Solar, you have the join query parser. Um, the, the way you use it is basically the same, but there are two different implementations. Um, so if we take a look at, at some code, um, we have two factory methods, create product, create product item, and uh, don't it, so we don't have to mark the parent anymore. The only thing we do is we have a, a product ID field in a product item that just references to a product. And um, then you can use 
index, and basically the indexing is uh, straightforward. Adding products, adding product items uh, in any particular order you uh, you wish. Um, and then uh, during uh, joining, basically you create a you create a index searcher, um, and uh, um, you define a from query, which can be seen as a, as a child query in this case. So you want all product items in the price category zero to one hundred cents. So the prices were in cents in this case. Uh, and you define a two field, which is ID, this is the, that is the, the field the parent uses. You use the, the join util uh, with, this, with this specific input. Uh, you can, you can pos possibly, uh, you can add it to your main query or something else, or use it as a filter, whatever you like. And uh, you can search. Basically, you get back, uh, with, um, get back uh, in this case, one parent, but of course, because only, if you look at this data, only, uh, <coughs> Only the first product has uh, documents in uh, product items in this price range. Um, and what was also a, a cool feature is that uh, you can uh, do uh, a join search across multiple, more than one index. So you can use a different index in the first phase than in the second phase. Um, so, some final thoughts. Um, I think this is a good solution to uh, have a, re a relational like search in your index. Um, um, so if you care about scoring, it's very important that uh, then, then most likely you want to use block joining because the queer time joining at the moment um, does not uh, do any anything with the scores that are, uh, that are computed in the first phase. Um, I start working on it to also include scores, um, but it's not net, not yet uh, uh, committed. It's just a uh, a patch yet. Um, it's also important that it's most everything is a Lucene feature, almost everything except some of the query time join, uh, the query time join um, index. So the block join query is not implemented in Solar yet. There's an issue open for that. Um, um, so, uh, it's, if you want to use it, you have to use Lucene. Um, also, all code is uh, uh, marked as experimental, so APIs might change uh, without uh, keeping backwards compatibility. So, let's take a look at result grouping and how we can uh, map that to our uh, example. Um, result grouping uh, was previously known as field collapsing. Uh, it was um, developed as a solar issue uh, four years ago it started and uh, I believe last year it was uh, finally committed uh, but in the process of getting it committed the feature slowly changed uh, into what we now know as result grouping um, and field collapsing can be seen as a form uh, of result grouping um, so what does result grouping do? It basically groups documents based on a shared property in, in, your, in your search result. A search hit can be represent, uh, uh, represents a group, not a document anymore. Um, also, optionally, you can decide that the facet counts and the total counts also represent groups. Uh, also, per group, you can uh, collect uh, information. So, uh, for example, the most relevant document or some aggregated count. Um, uh, nowadays, uh, in, in, uh, in Solar, the aggregated counts are not yet supported, but uh, in Lucene, there is a collector that you can use to uh, compute a distinct, uh, a distinct count of a specific field. Um, so the usage is, of course, in our case, it's uh, group documents by a shared property, uh, for example, product ID in our case, uh, but of course other uh, options, for example, just to collapse your search results. So if you're indexing uh, uh, web pages, uh, you don't want during searching that your entire first three pages are filled with uh, a, a result from a specific site, for example, Wikipedia, or you want to group by domain name. Um, it can also be used to remove duplicates. So if you have a hash field somewhere in your um, 
in, in your schema, you can group by that hash field. So if we take it back to our uh, example domain, um, it will look like this. Each product item will have its own uh, document, but the product data is, needs to be associated with it. Um, so it's, in fact, duplicated. Um, if we dive into the implementation, um, result grouping is implemented with collectors, with Lucene collectors. Um, it doesn't have any queries. Um, it's a contrib uh, in 3x and a module in, uh, in trunk. Um, there are two major uh, implementations. The two pass uh, result grouping implementation basically group by a field uh, or a function or a doc values field. Um, and there is a single pass uh, result grouping that, base, uh, that relies on block indexing to group. Um, uh, but the, the advantage of this, ex of, of this approach is that it can be executed in one search, and the two-pass result grouping executed, executes two Lucene searches. Uh, I will now go into the two-pass implementation, and uh, that's also the most, as far as I know, the most widely used. Um, so, uh, you have two searches. The first search basically collects the top groups. Uh, per group, a uh, group value plus sort value is collected. Then in the second phase, uh, the same query is executed, but it uh, collects the documents inside those top groups. Um, to, uh, for example, the most relevant doc few doc uh, three documents or some aggregated information. Uh, the first pass, pass search is the most expensive search. Um, the second pass is relatively cheap because the, uh, the, it only collects documents for the top and top end groups. So if we go index data again, we index uh, basically uh, all product items with the product data. This looks uh, quite straightforward. Um, but we'll, let's take a look at the searching part. Um, so we have to decide on what field we want to group. So a product ID, for example. Now we have to decide uh, uh, how we want to sort the groups, for example, relevance. Uh, then we um, decide how many groups we actually want to return into it, to the user. Uh, this information is used as uh, input for the first pass collector. Uh, there are many other implementations of this. We use the term version because we are uh, grouping by a, a indexed value. You can also group by a function or a, a doc values field, but then you need another impl implementation of the first pass collector. The end result of the first uh, pass is basically the top groups that you see in uh, uh, which is called the, the variable is named top groups, and that is used as input for the second pass grouping collector. Um, there are other things that we, uh, in the second pass, there are a few other options you can specify. For example, how you would like to, uh, to, to sort the documents inside a group, uh, and how many documents you want to uh, collect inside a group. In this case, price is maybe an interesting uh, group sort to sort by, because you, you, uh, most likely the user wants to see the cheapest product item and not the other one. Um, basically, we execute the search and we get top groups back as a result. Top groups is the end result of result grouping and then the result can be rendered. Top groups, uh, Solar uses this as well to render the result to the client. So this is actually quite some code. Uh, so if you ever want, you most likely it's, uh, it could be made easier, I guess. Um, um, so it can be can uh, be done easier. So in the, on the Lucene level, you have a convenience ut utility called grouping search, where you basically have setters to set all the properties and one search method that under the hood executes two searches. And you get back the top groups as a result. And of course, if you're using solar, well, you use solar, of course, and you group by a field, uh, you have a query, enable grouping, and you uh, get back a grouped result into your client or in, if you're using a browser in the browser. There are many options for result grouping. 
and they're all uh, described on the wiki page. Um, so, parent-child results. Um, so top groups, um, it returns the the product and it and some uh, some information out pro about the product items. Um, and that say in, the, in that way you have a uh, yeah a parent-child like result. Uh, you can also choose to in, to uh, include a group count or uh, or make or um, you decide that the facet count should be based on groups. So you, the um, so your your end result is completely uh, grouped. Um, that is, is sometimes in many situations uh, you uh, need that to show the user accurate information. Uh, in many cases, um, uh, if you don't compute a group count, for example, then pagination won't won't be 100% correct. Um, uh, Computing this information is not enabled by default. The reason is that it requires uh, quite some, uh, well, computations. Um, um, so if you want to enable that, you have to specifically enable it. And uh, you have to test in your environment if it's, uh, if it's worth spending this, inf uh, this extra uh, CPU cycles to get this information. Um, and if you don't uh, go over you, uh, targeted query time. Um, both for, uh, for group count and for facet count, you have, basically you have different collectors computing information and they need to be enabled in, in, the, in, in a search and that's why it takes more time. Okay. Mm. So, so, a small conclusion comparing, oh, sorry. Small conclusion comparing uh, uh, the parent-child uh, solutions. Um, so what we looked at is result grouping, joining, and uh, compound documents. Um, the first thing, result grouping. Um, the big plus is that it's supported in a distributed environment. And um, you can get the parent-child relation as a hit. Um, but the downside is parent data is duplicated and depending on what grouping feature you enable, it can have a considerable impact on the query time. Uh, but uh, since it's dis distributed, you can allow to have more shards around to, uh, to cover, to make, sh make sure that it doesn't take too much query time. But then we can have to take a look at joining. Uh, basically, um, it's fast. Uh, we don't have data duplication. Uh, index time joining is even faster than query time joining, uh, but the downside of index time joining is that you have to index by, uh, you have to do use block indexing, and query time uh, uh, joining is a bit limited. For example, score, the scores from the children are not uh, passed on to the parent, and vice versa. Um, uh, but on the other hand, uh, uh, if you uh, have to deal with frequent updates, maybe query time is better. Um, um, last one, compound documents. It's actually, well, compared to all the other solutions, it's very fast. It's just out of the box documents and it just works as you expect it to work. Um, you don't have all features work out of the box. Um, for example, if you, if you use joining uh, and you return parents, in this case products as result, and you would like to facet on, uh, on product item properties, it, that is not, it cannot be done in one, uh, in one search. Um, however, it's not flexible when it comes to updates and your document granularity is, uh, is fixed, unless you re-index, of course. Also, what I'd like to mention is that um, you can take, uh, can go to uh, searchworkings.org, that is a uh, online community, um, I wrote a few blogs about result grouping and joining there, so it will give you more, uh, more uh, in-depth and technical information about these features. Also, other Lucene-based, uh, Lucene and Solar-related uh, topics are discussed there, um, so. Searchworkings.org, so, yeah.